Buongiorno everyone! Today I'm going to take you into a marvelous place. I wore a dress and I'm gonna pretend I'm a princess and then I'm gonna take you to my princess castle, okay? Are you curious to see what this marvelous place is? Follow me! So where are we? We are in the very heart of Rome, in the middle of the city where a lot of traffic is, but here we are in a corner of heaven. We are in the garden of a noble family palace and this palace is Palazzo Colonna. Now we're going to go inside the palace, and now we are in the garden, but first you need to know that Rome has had a lot of noble families living in the city throughout the centuries and one of them was this the Colonna family and this is their palace and this is one of the biggest noble family palaces of the city. So are you ready to leave the garden and start exploring the building inside? Let's go! So many beautiful pieces of artwork in this palace, uh, paintings, marbles, consoles, chandeliers and everything. But the most pre precious jewel is actually the gallery. Welcome to Galleria Colonna. What you're looking at is a 70 meters long gallery which is a triumph of Baroque. Look at this, 360 degrees all around us. There's beauty in every single corner of this place. Look at the windows, the mirrors with the golden frame, consoles, statues, paintings, amazing frescoes on the walls. And last but not least, colorful marble decorating the floors and the walls. Beauty everywhere. But what I want you to notice at the end of this gallery is this. Look at these steps. Can you see something unusual? This is a cannonball. This cannonball looks almost like uh, it just fell in here. This cannonball actually fell in here accidentally. In 1849, while the French troops were trying to attack the army of the Roman Republic, there was uh, uh, taking shelter on the Quirinal Hill. Now, you need to imagine that the Janiculum Hill is that direction, and basically the, sh the cannon was shot that direction. It probably made a hole in the ceiling and fell on this step in here, breaking the steps and the Colonna family decided to leave this cannonball in here almost to represent the contrast between the brutality of war against so much beauty. But now let's have a look at the paintings. Now, of all of these paintings, you need to imagine that there is one in particular that is very evocative of the Galleria Colonna. It's very famous in here. And it's one painting that you will never actually expect to find in such a place. In fact, among such luxury, you will never imagine that the most popular painting will be this one. This is the bean eater of Annibale Carracci. How different is this from the rest of the paintings? The subject, the protagonist of this painting is very simple, but actually it tells us a lot. It tells us a lot about the normal life of a farmer in the 1500s. Here we have a bean eater, as you can say it's a farmer, a poor one, which is eating a soup of beans. Here you also have, you can see some water falling off his spoon. Almost every we enter the room and we uh, call him eating the soup and he's looking at us like, oh, you're in. <laughs> And then let's have a look at the table. Here we have some onions, some bread, and here we have wine mm, with a glass. And why does this painting stick out from the rest of the others? Because it's the only painting which is so simple and has such a simple character. But not only in this gallery, but also in general. In the 1500s, the only people that could afford to have such a portrait were noble people, rich people, certainly not a farmer. But now let's continue our exploration. Let's go to our next room. And this is a very important room because of this chair. This is the chair of the Pope. And this chair is facing the wall because no one should sit in here. This is a sign of respect. Only the Pope could sit in here and it would be turned only once the Pope would be here. 
And by the way, this is Pope Martino V, Martino V Colonna, that brought back the papacy seat in Rome from Avignon after over almost 100 years. You might have also noticed that everywhere you look there's always a column because the column is the emblem of the Colonna family. In fact, Colonna translates into English in column. So you have a column in here and columns also on the floor, columns everywhere. And this was our tour in Palazzo Colonna. What an amazing and precious experience. I have to say that uh, uh, every single person in this place has been so, so nice to us. Starting from the director of the museum, of the, of the uh, palace, uh, which allowed us to make the videos. And also uh, every single person in the staff was so, so approachable and available to explain. There's a lot of guides throughout the gallery and throughout the palace in general that are so willing and so eager to tell you everything about the place. So make sure you come and save some time on your next visit to Rome to see this precious place.